Perfect pizza. Hot and waste nine little brother. It's just as bad in this episode as it was in the previous episode. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell my opinion on the episode. Just a minute. Let's start with the plot, shall we? Okay, it starts off with Henry have in his little imagination that he's in a time machine. And by the way, this is all the Henry's time machine, by the way. Forgot to mention that. Um, and he, um, and he's doing, um, the usual stuff you would do in a time machine, you know, try to set which place to go to. Or hang with the guy? Dinosaur time. Yeah, you messed up there, Henry. And, well, the twist. The time machine is not real. It's just a cardboard box where it's a drawing for machines inside it. Um. Um, Peter, Peter nags that Henry has to share that box. Yeah. I was not going to teach kids how to bow seven and carry. Never mind. Um. Okay, so. Their mum comes in and tells that she's going to pop over to her neighbours, which she took over the, mo the, the mo most of the episode to go over. So, it's one of those signs where when people say they're going to. When the person says they're going to pop out for a minute, no, it's not for a minute, it's for like 10 minutes. Compish, compish. And, and it turns out that Miss, 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 Peter's teacher, Miss Lovely, is going to come over to discuss about the school pay. And they don't really tell us what kind of school play it is. So. I actually think, um, I should have mentioned, um, what school play they're trying to discuss about. Now, what, what's the school play? I mean, that wouldn't be important to the plot, but just at least mention the title of the play. And let's, and just, uh, just let us sit down and figure out that mystery. So, Henry wants to make, n not Henry. Why would Henry do that? Peter wants to make the box look like a little house for Miss Lovely. And, okay. First of all, P okay, Peter forward view in his first scene. Okay, first of all, Peter's, Peter knows that a lot of people will be pleased that Peter actually knows after Henry said the box is a time machine, Peter knows it's just a box, and yeah, I have to mention a washing machine came out. That's important, isn't it? Um, no mind. So, but first, straight after that, um, Peter's just a complete idiot. Uh, Henry says that it may look like a tea machine, but if it did, people would try and steal it. How can they uh, steal a time machine if it's like, you know, attached to a wall or something? Like most time machines will, time machines will be, you know, most time machines will be, you know, attached to a wall. So how can you? Never mind. It's just like stealing a full refrigerator. So yeah, okay. I'll, I'll plus to Henry then, but Peter's still a gullible idiot. Henry pretends to be an A, to be, um, 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 his, Henry's great, great, great grandfather, grandson, whatever. No, grandfather, yeah, that's right. And Peter, he could easily look at, Henry has to, like, put, like, a little napkin, a little bit of paper around his chin to look like a beard. Could Peter not actually actually see 
that it does not look like a real beard. And I think it's pretty about blind. And also, all that Peter says that Henry must be very gone. <gasps> At least I can watch TV as long as I like. That's it. That's all you could think about when Henry is gone. Um, I don't know, have in his room, maybe? I think I say that one from one of the books, I think. Also in the TV series. Hang on. Um, Pete Henry says that if you go to the in the future like that, people will laugh at you. Oh, really? I mean, people will be expecting that people will be different in the future. I don't, that's some um, fear that everyone has, where um, the future will be like flying cars or um, a flying source, flying sources or anything. Yeah, we don't. I think the future is just the future. Hmm. But we're not gonna be alive to say that now. And Henry explains that um P that his grand great grandson that he still is in the house. That's gonna confuse Peter a lot. Like you're Henry with a a somewhat beard strapped to your chin and say is kind of I'm gonna confuse Peter with that. Um then it's a little joke. Um it says, Oh my great grandson looks at looks just like me. So is Agri then? What did you call me? <laughs> nothing, 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 nothing. You're, you're handsome Henry. I show a lot of girls will pick him up. I do not like girls. I'm gay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. No, that's a little joke I made up. <laughs> um, so, um, Peter Mark, what it's like in the future? Henry, I'm just gonna say Henry from now on, because he's just got a piece of paper strapped to his chin, um, to, to look like a beard. And Henry says that people eat vegetables. Yeah, people. Who eat healthy stuff is bad, is worse. That didn't came out right, never mind. Um, people, boys wear dresses. Uh, I have no comment, so. They last in, and everyone talks in ugly language. Okay, understandable. Um, so Peter wants to go, but. He has to be ready. Has to. Has to. Has to dress up and dress up as an alien. Did he say? No, 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 no sorry. I boy from the future. Um, this sound um, kind of racist. Um, Henry gets a dress. Her mum's dress, as we find out later, on the pizza. Um, po a little potion drink, and has red lipstick on his mouth. How's that racist, you say? Well, if you look at the uh, racist cartoons like Scrubby Mom with a Boogie Beat, or Jungle Ditch Jitters, or some of the racist moments in Tom and Jerry, um, you know, um, the characters, you know, black people used to have, like, uh, red lips, and the red lips that Peter had, Look exactly the same as red lips that black people used to have in those cartoons, and that's making me wonder: is this is this mostly a racist thing? They mark, and uh, yeah, it kind of um, so it looks a little bit racist to me. And then Peter look like Peter having a big red, big red lips like a. Black person used to have in cartoons. God, I hate racist cartoons. Um, then uh, Hank says, uh, 
You won't be able to speak Bibble Bubble language unless you drink a Bibble Bubble drink. Um, expecting it. Net. I think in reality, when Peter drinks that, I think he'll just maybe just die immediately. Like you just drink that, what place on the floor and just die. In reality, at least. And uh, then he tells Peter to wait ten seconds and then come out of the time machine. And then. A little bit of small spell on Peter. Peter says, Oh, I didn't work. Peter notices, notices he's in the exact same place. The living room. A bit of small spell on Peter. Maybe in there. But again, it's amazing to understand until Henry comes out as an alien costume. And then. Peter believes he's actually seen an alien. Get some help, Peter. Peter's mom and dad take him to therapy. He really needs to stop being so naive and gullible. He really should be stopped. Yeah, no, Henry introduces that he's in the future where, um, He's in the Peter Museum. Oh, does Peter believe that? Well, he's got his own bunny doll and books. And then we address this that he was famous for a uh, good reader and that bunny, to bunny stuffed animal. So, that's still Peter. Can you not see it's the couch? Idiot. Um, now a lot of people will be saying that, do I, actually I'm going to turn that to the end. Then, uh, Peter goes out to the garden and still believes he's in a Peter Museum, where you can see light blue sky, fence, tree, and... <sighs> now, I'm going to say this right now. A lot of pe you people are saying, oh, Peter is just role-playing and pretending to, um... To uh, find Peter's not being naive or gullible, he's just role playing and pretending he's he's in the future. That argument is going to kick out right off the window when Margaret and Susan, which for some reason Susan has a bit of a different voice, a bit of a deeper female voice, but not the usual. Yeah, Henry, it's more like a, oh, what's he doing? Anyway, this is an epic. Um, then uh, Margaret and Susan tell Peter that he's not really in the future. And Peter's all like, Oh, Henry tricked me. Now, people, love it. For those people who think Peter was just like role playing or pretending to think he's in the future, he's ac he actually believed he was in the future. But until Margaret explains it all, Peter, Peter realizes it's a trick by Henry. <sighs> Did you get help, Peter? Okay, the episode, right, the episode, I'm going to wrap up this episode now. The episode ends with Henry, Miss Sophie comes over, addresses that Peter and Henry go to school play. So I'm just going to end that episode right there. Alright then. I'm going to say this right now. I do not hate this episode. It's a mediocre episode. The one thing that really annoys me about this episode is Peter. He is just an absolute idiot. And can you not see that you're in a living room? That out in a garden. Right. Henry so tells you that he's that you're in the future, when you can clearly say you're in the living room and you're going through the Peter Museum, you can absolutely see the outside. Oh, I'm getting myself myself here. If you guys want to watch a movie, then watch Peter's Sandwich, guys. 
ওই whatsapp এ দেখেছি extreme এর নাম